when all actions are mathematically calculated, they also take on a stupid quality, meaning we just cannot always afford to control, govern, lead everything by ourselves in our own image, in our own ignorance, arrogance, desire, knowledge, intelligence, wisdom. We cannot always be trying to control, govern everything in our image. Just because we have knowledge, talent, power, success, money, attention, validation does not mean we are going to be in control of everything or we're certainly going to be able to control, dominate, uh, govern everything on the basis of all that which we have, which we possess, which we own either because of money, influence, power or because of knowledge. Either ways, nothing can be controlled besides ourselves. We can only invest and concentrate uh, and focus, invest upon ourselves in our growth, progress, learning, betterment, development of skills, knowledge, character, talents, traits, characteristics. But besides that, we cannot and we certainly will not control the others' behaviors, ideologies, actions, successes, perceptions, attitudes, or the external circumstances either cannot be controlled. Uh, so obviously, when we try to control, govern everything, uh, obviously prematurely and in preconceived notions, then everything falters automatically. But when we let everything flow as it is and as it should also, when we accept life as it is and embrace reality as it unfolds and obviously unravels in reality without any interferences, interruptions, demands, desires, ego, arrogance, then something fundamental shifts, something magical, miraculous happen in that moment of acceptance embrace, distinction, individuality, and groundedness. Uh, uh, obviously, we are able to pull off that which was almost difficult to impossible for us, that which was not working now works because we're no longer trying to control anything or anyone besides or external to ourselves and not even ourselves. We, we just have to be able to flow with the currents of life because life is not going to flow with us. It's not going to explain, describe itself to us, but we are going to have to explain ourselves to life. We are going to have to be able to move alongside life and beside life and with the currents and rivers of life that life is and that it also represents and epitomizes in its events, miseries, tragedies, torments, happinesses, uh, and moments of pleasure, union, etc. So if we're not able to move with along and well, beside life, then we're going to be overpowered by destiny, by undesirable actions, unexpected events. So it's not about controlling, it's about becoming, it's about integrating. It's about moderating, disciplining ourselves over and over and over again that leads to success.